Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to download latest version of Windows 11 ARM and build an ISO. I'm using Windows 10 to build the ISO. I'll add the links in the description. Do note the ARM version of Win 11 will be quite larger than AMD 64 ISOs. We'll be downloading the scripts from uupdump.net. Scroll down to latest public release section and click on ARM 64 architecture. Select Windows 11 23H2, 22631.2715, ARM 64 build. Choose your appropriate language. I'll be choosing US English and click on next to proceed to the next section which lets you choose editions you want to download. I'll go with default editions home and pro. Click on next to proceed to download options. Under conversion options you can choose default options or even include .NET FX 3.5 and use ESD compression which will take considerable time to build the ISO but the resulting file is smaller. For now, I'll be using default options and add .NET 3.5 with other customizations in the convert UUP ENI file once the zip file is unpacked. These are settings I'm using in convert UUP ENI file. I've added option to update WinRE update boot files, create ISO, disable auto start, and lot more. For now, run yup Windows CMD file as administrator and let it download the required files. The total size is around 6 GB so it will be take time to download depending on your bandwidth. As you have seen earlier, the script asks for step by step confirmation before proceeding. In default settings the script auto starts the process. The script will update all editions, boot files, and WinRE which will take more time say 2 to 3 hours depending on the system configuration. I'm amazed that Win Toolkit and NT Lite was able to service the ARM ISO without any issues. Unfortunately, I'm unable to test ARM 64 ISO in VirtualBox as it is failing to recognize the ISO and simply fails to boot. Do let me know if you've been able to get to install updated Windows 11 for ARM 64 on your ARM PC. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the video if you found it helpful. Once again thank you for your support.